Hey, how are you? What? What did you just say? Come on, man, don't be so serious. Okay, <clears throat> now. <clears throat> almost choked there, but I'm still alive and I'm still gonna give some value. So, as my fellow speakers, I'm gonna share your story. Last year, when I was about to do my speech on presenting my newspaper to find writers. What happened in their presentation was I was presenting, I was giving data, I was so focused, I was so laser focused on finding the right writer. I was so laser focused on finding who was really serious on taking on the job. Well, what happened was I eventually had some three people apply and I was looking and I saw, oh, okay, maybe this is okay. Then I interviewed them. What happened was one of them was a little bit super serious like I'm gonna take this job this is my credentials and then this 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 but then I found another one another girl that was set was saying he, she had the skills but she needs more training then the other one was so light-hearted she was skilled but she was so light-hearted that uh, she attracted the the people when he was when she was speaking so I get intrigued so I hired that girl what happened was after three months later she didn't perform well I eventually fired her so what happened was I was looking like one year ago what happened why did I decide to give a spot a shot to the woman who was light-hearted but wasn't super skilled what happened was I was analyzing cold-blooded I was analyzing the past and I saw Mm -hmm. I was operating from not giving the right position to the people that really have the skill that are so right for the task <clears throat> I was so focused on the feelings but and sometimes feelings can be used as a way of influencing people like when speaking we use emotions to make our speeches our message stick with those who are listening to us what, what, but what happened was <clears throat> I realized that I, was, I wasn't operating with my logical brain. There's a fact why we have an emotional brain and a logical brain. And I was operating more of the emotional, the one who the, I, I hang out with the right people. Not with the right people, but, the, with, but with the people who were giving me good emotions. Like uh -huh, they were praising me, etc. But what, ha what happens is, I can't operate always like this. I can't always put my emotions in front of my logical brain. Sometimes I go too logical. Most of the time I go emotional and logical, but there's perfect balance. Well, I'm, s I'm still quite young and I'm still learning this, but if you're here and you're listening, I want you to start training to balance these two sectors, the emotional, and the logical brain. I want you to focus on balancing. When you get too logical, try to be more emotional and try to, when you're getting too serious, start joking around and start laughing so you can balance the logical and the emotional. When you start becoming too emotional, like you're getting, everything is getting too too heartfelt uh, and you're, you're judging people and you're performing based on your emotions, emotions I want you to start being asked start asking some questions the right question like why am I feeling like this what does that what does this mean to me right now and how can I use this obstacle how can I use this bad comments to my favor start asking questions basically start asking questions for getting too emotional and start getting more emotional and more more light-hearted when you get too logical so I want you to fa balance this, these two hemispheres. Don't worry, you're not alone. I'm also trying to balance this, balance this, and I'm still working on it. But let's focus on really balancing these two sectors of our life. So thank you for watching. If you're logical, hit the thumbs like. If you're emotional, hit the crying face down below. So see you, and don't forget to watch my new YouTube video. What? four tips I can give you 
to present much more better so you can get an awesome presentation see you guys and thank you for watching and goodbye my friend <laughs>